Yeah, thanks for inviting me to the movies with you, Lamb. Say, how come Eileen didn't come with us? Huh? She gave up going to the Dollar Theater. Yeah, I can't say that I blame her for that. That place sure has gone downhill since it dropped from a dollar fifty. <laughs> did you, uh, did you see the blonde with the eight-inch high heels making eyes at me in the lobby? Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> you know, it's getting to be a can't go anywhere to have a good time these days, especially on a teacher's salary. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head there, Lamb. <laughs> well, face it, until the system changes, there's nothing we can do about it. Huh. The system. Hey, you want to know something about the system, Lamb? You from Chicago, right? Yeah, so? You ever hear of the Chicago 7? Of course. 68 Democratic Convention. Were you there? Huh. Was I there? Lamb, the whole thing was my idea. <laughs> it was supposed to be the Chicago 8, but I just missed the bus from Secaucus. <laughs> but did Abby say, uh, let's wait for him? No. Did Jerry say, let's check the hospital? He might be hurt. No. <laughs> Did Tom say, hey, no sweat. We'll do it again in 72? Oh, no. <laughs> they all just went ahead and did their thing. But I am the one who said, let's crash the convention. <laughs> they all just wanted to go to some girl's house and listen to Sly and the Family Stone albums. <laughs> now they've got books, speaking tours. All I've got is a bumper sticker that says, teachers do it with class. <laughs> By the way, where do you get those? How you doing, Norm? <laughs> I just came by to tell you, I won't be able to fix that uh, drip in the bathtub till Monday. But why, Mr. Donatelli, it has been broken for a week. Do you know how much hot water costs? Nah, I hate tea. <laughs> I'd love to be able to help you with this little problem, but uh, I promised I'd spend the weekend with old Mossy Bottom. Your wife can wait. <laughs> old Mossy Bottom is my boat, Norm. You have a boat? Well, it's only an 18-footer, but you should see her propellers dice up those grunions. <laughs> Mr. Donatelli, I don't mean to get personal, but how could you ever afford a boat? Oh, the Burton kid. He turned me on to a stock a couple of years ago. It's incredible. That kid's got like a second sight when it comes to that stuff. <laughs> it only cost me a few extra shares for his mother. Easiest money I ever made. <laughs> uh, Matt? Yeah, look, you ought to go ask him for a tip. I mean, he makes you crawl and you gotta lick his boots, but it's well worth it. <laughs> kid can't miss. See you on Monday, Norm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bye, Mr. Donatelli. I can't believe it. Oh, excuse me, Norman. Uh, was this guy robbing you? <laughs> but honest, Brenda, I've changed. The girls, the scams, all that's behind me. You're the only woman in the world for me. Well, shh. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. The night's ours. Oh, look, we gotta help us. Principal Ellis! Look, I want you to pick a stock. Now, here's the listing. What do you like? Her. <laughs> Matthew, I'm serious. Norman, so am I. <laughs> you won't help. Miss Hurley, I presume the completion of your homework has afforded you this extraordinary amount of free time. Mm, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I mean, no, sir. I, I mean, I'll see you in school tomorrow, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. You have nothing else to do. I want you to pick us a stock. You know, the same way you did for Donatelli. Oh, that. Come on, Matt. All we want is one tip. Just give us a general direction. Well, no expert. It's a hobby. I just follow the trends. Pick one. And there is a risk involved. Matthew, I am not a kid. Come on, come on, come all on. Right, all right. <laughs> but what's in it for me? Gratitude. <laughs> and 10%. 20. Donatelli's only paying 10. Yeah, but he was willing to wear mouse ears and sing Disney songs. Oh, <laughs> uh, OK, OK, 20%. Don't argue with him, Lamb. That still leaves you 30. Now, what's the tip? <laughs> Swiss francs. Why Swiss francs? Well, they've been going down. 10%. <laughs> Who 
things happen in cycles. Clothing, music, my love life. <laughs> Gotta learn to stick with one thing. It'll come back, it always does. Swiss francs. Swiss francs. Come on, Norman, I've got a friend who's a broker. Great. Oh, and Matt, uh, thanks a lot. No problem, Norman. It's a gift. <laughs> Ah, okay. The financial report should be on soon. Now, are you sure Eileen doesn't mind us being here at 6 in the morning? Hey, what are friends with cable TV for? <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, so I'm not that beautiful at 6 o'clock in the morning. Mom asked me to give you guys breakfast. That's a wonderful woman you got there, Lamb. Yeah, she's the best. What does she whip up for us? <laughs> Hot coffee? No, thank you. <laughs> Count your blessings. She usually makes oatmeal. Norman, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I know, but it's 3 p.m. in Switzerland, and the Frank's been up all day. <laughs> Sit down and be quiet. You'll wake up your mother. Oh, hey, it's a financial report. Turn it up. And, of course, our big story this morning concerns the Swiss franc, which, after several months of steady decline, took a sudden dramatic turnaround and is up half a cent. <laughs> Great. Half a cent. A quarter cent apiece. No, 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 no. Dwight. We have 250,000 of them. We made $1,250 in one day. In other words, we're rich. Oh. <laughs> we're rich! Oh. We're rich! <laughs> but honest, Michelle, I've changed. <laughs> The girls, the scams, all that's behind me. You're the only woman in the world for me. <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Matt. Shh. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Night's ours. Hey, Matthew! <laughs> I don't believe this. Dwight and I were thinking, now just give me your gut reaction. Ready? Kelp. <laughs> Don't you see I'm busy? Miss Sanderson, I presume the completion of your homework has afforded you this extraordinary amount of free time. Well, uh, see you tomorrow, Matt. Okay. <laughs> Kelp. You know, Undersea farming has been on the drawing board for years, and all the financial experts are saying that this is the decade it is bound to take off. Now, what should we do with our money? Sell your francs. What do you mean, sell? They've been going up every day. Right, and too fast. I don't like the smell of it, Norman. But I was reading in the paper just this morning where every single expert was saying to buy because the trend was going to last for at least the next two weeks. Well, then I assume you guys aren't going to sell. Well, uh, a week. Ten days, maybe. Okay, well, I want my commission right now. 20% of the profit so far, then you guys are on your own. Okay. <laughs> no. You're making a big mistake. I'll sleep. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Uh, he seems pretty sure of himself. Norman, if he's so smart, why is he only 16? <laughs> Besides, now there's only two of us to share the profits. So, why don't you and I go down to this little club I frequent, you know, to celebrate? Well, Eileen will be working pretty late tonight. Then it'll be just the two of us, you know. Boy's not out. We deserve it. Okay, uh, say, uh, 8 o'clock. Perfect, Norman, baby. We're gonna go down there and show them how the other side likes to party. <laughs> Hey, I'm so 
sorry about bringing you here on amateur night, Norman, but usually this place is what's happening. Right, baby. Any place you and I are is usually what's happening. <laughs> Uh, another round for the house, gentlemen? Another round for the house? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 mama, hey, come here a minute, come here a minute. You, uh, hey, look here, mama. How's about after closing time, you and me go to your house and make the neighbors call the police? <laughs> <laughs> Go listen to him. He's got a wife and five kids. Yeah, and if the wife ever found out about the kids, boy, would she be mad. <laughs> Marty Edwards and the Homeboys, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Marty Edwards and the Homeboys. Hey, the Homeboys. I'm from home myself. <laughs> All right, OK. Now, for our next act, trying to win that $100 first prize, hold on to your seats for Iron Jaws Wilson. would change me in some way. Hey, what's happening, sweet cakes? <laughs> but it hasn't. Yeah, Norman, and this is only the beginning, because in two weeks, we're gonna be rolling in so much dough that if they baked us, we would ride. <laughs> Remember Gerard Allen, my broker? Yo, bro, cur. <laughs> sit down, sit down, oh, buddy. Here, here. Here, uh, uh, Dwight, you know, I, I've been looking all day for you guys. It's about your investment. The Swiss franc? Yeah. Bottom dropped out, fell like a rock. The margin call is $500. Uh, margin call? Yeah, that's how much you need in order to keep what you got. Without it, you guys are wiped out. Now, look, I need that money right now, or else it's gonna be too late. Okay, 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 uh, Gerard. Uh, here, uh, $500. But this is almost all the money I got, Gerard. Uh, but how's it look? They're, they're gonna rebound, right? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be a broker. <laughs> Ballet parking. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. I've got four dollars to my name. How about you? Four dollars to your name? <laughs> now, what else can go wrong? Another round for the house? No, no, uh, no more rounds for the house. House has to drive. Well, here's your check. Hundred and fifty-four dollars. <laughs> Look, this is a bar full of large black people. I am a small white person. What am I going to do? Nothing. Just be cool and pretend we still have money. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Won't they start getting hip by say Tuesday? 
Listen, all you gotta do is walk up. No, saunter wealthily over to the phone and call Matthew. We'll pay this bill out of the commission we gave him. <clears throat> Only gave him 250. So he still gotta have some extra. <clears throat> Look, man, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Go on, wake him, man. What can you interrupt? His own work. <laughs> but honest, Charmaine, I've changed. <laughs> the girls, the scams, all that's behind me. You're the only woman in the world for me. <laughs> oh, you don't mean that. Shh. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> the night's ours. <laughs> That's more like it. Uh... It's him. It's gotta be him. I know it's him. Hello, Norman. <laughs> oh, really? Now? Uh, what's the problem, Norman? Yes. Uh, give me the phone. Young lady, I presume that the completion of your homework has afforded you this extraordinary amount of free time. Six extra bucks? That's all you have between the two of you? Well, I, I have a Swiss franc, but I, I hear they're worthless. Uh, I'm just going to take a little walk around. We are dead. It's all over. No more arms, no more legs. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how much smaller those guys looked when we were rich. Hold on a second. I just got an idea. What? How badly do you want the extra $100? <laughs> we could do if we could only find a third. <clears throat> Not a chance. <laughs> well, you see, uh, I'm a producer. <laughs> oh, Mr. Donatelli. Hmm? <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, our last entry here at the Starlight Lounge is amateur tonight. The one, the only, Ellis and the Lambs. <laughs> Oh, 
really kidding, folks. That was Ellis and the Lambs. Can we have a list of our contestants, please? Now, our judges have made their decision, and the winner and proud recipient of tonight's check for $100 is... Iron Jaws Wilson. Well, it's, uh, no skin off my nose. <laughs> I'm a producer. Maybe we can sneak out of the front. <clears throat> Maybe we can sneak out the back. Oh, uh, which three do you want? Uh, Matthew, uh, I'd leave if I were you. This is bound to be a wee bit messy. Uh, that's what I came to talk to you about. I got your money. A hundred bucks. <gasps> but first... <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. I should have listened to you. You were right. Sorry, Matt. I should have listened to you. You were right. <laughs> All right. All right, gentlemen, here's your money with a $6 tip. Now, uh, go away and buy the judges some glasses. <laughs> Ooh, baby, that was a close one. Huh? Thanks for helping us out, Matt. Sure. Actually, it was kind of easy getting your money. See, I told you this boy was a genius. What did you do this time? Well, you fellas went over so well, I booked you into the club for the next two weeks. 